so on top there are two antennas okay. uh, so connected to the uh, so connected to the node okay. and uh, the way we are accessing it right now is we just uh, connect to the so this guy has a chassis manager right so we just we just access that that gives us access to both power on power off kind of functions okay so we have actually a connection inside there so you can sit and do it but uh, believe it or not we couldn't get the crosswire cable properly okay. cut so, so the, the demo you're showing is sort of so this will connect and disconnect from the nodes depending on so there is an access point over here okay okay so the idea is that you'll have open access points and uh, cars will upload there so it's going to upload gps information and also some signal strength information okay um, signal strength is going to be relevant only to the current access point right? correct so okay. it's going to upload say the last signal strength uh, that it sees okay right? and uh, gps is more the goal here where you're uploading okay. gps information speed and location okay. and you can say track the congestion in an area by saying okay the average speed in this area is supposed to be this but cars are reporting this okay. so there is congestion then you can also do long-term monitoring experiments where you look at the average speed in a particular segment and say how good or bad that is maybe that can help road management oh, guys okay. civil engineering guys so this is like your uh a mobility extension to the orbit test bed. Yes. yes. Okay. The demo. So can you run the script? And start running slowly. Okay. So we have a car driver out there. I mean, a student who's going to start driving. So the idea is that you have open access. So. No, we don't have anything. So basically, what I'm trying to show you is wireless information. The car is talking to an access point. Okay. When it goes out of range, obviously it cannot talk to the access point. Periodically, it's sending information to us, which is being plotted here in real time. And you, you are going to look at that information. So you're basically looking at signal quality during mobility. The access point is there is an outdoor load there similar to this so it's just placed clear nearer there ultimately we want antennas outside with amplifiers but right now we have the antennas inside so it's just an orbit node which is acting as an access point because it's a regular pc so it can be configured to act as a client and access point in ad hoc mode so all this can be done so it's just two orbit nodes talking to each other except that one of them is inside a car and moving okay So uh, right now, I don't think it started moving. You have three plots. No, we'll do a couple of times. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is real time right here. I don't have the feed over there. Uh, this is the plot that that is happening in real time. So what's going on here is you have three plots. You have a link quality plot, which is telling you an indication of the signal strength. You have the bitrate uh, over here, which is saying how that's also an indication, but that's more dependent on packet error rates. Okay, and you have the speed of the car over here. So uh, I don't think he has started moving. This is coming in right now from the car. So as soon as he starts moving, you're going to see a change in the uh, uh, speed. So I think he just started moving. Okay. And uh, what you can see is that you have a lot of fluctuations even when the car was stationary. So this period, if you map it over here, you still see a lot of signal strength fluctuations. You still see a lot of bitrate fluctuations. So even when it wasn't moving, there was a lot of fluctuation. Now he started moving and he's around uh, 15 miles per hour. That's what he's doing. I think he's calling me to let me know. Is that signal strength, uh, signal to noise ratio, or is that an absolute power measure? It's a signal to noise ratio. OK, so do you get an absolute? We get an absolute number. No, no, but it's not. No, no, it's not calibrated measurements. Yes. That's what you're asking. This is what card reports. reports. And that's fine. But just what it's trying to report is a signal-to-noise ratio. Essentially, not an absolute. No, not an absolute ratio. signal power. Okay. But it is um, the way it's done is that they measure when there is, you know, the, the RSSI is defined as a fraction of the received energy when you detect the proper packet, and then compare it to the noise floor. In other words, there is a noise floor measurement that happens when you don't receive anything. Okay. And that's used to sort of report. Okay. But of course, the algorithm itself is proprietary to chip manufacturers, and nobody really understands okay. what they report. Right. Okay, so uh, 
he's now moving what he's going to do is he's probably going to go out of range and come back and you're going to re-establish connectivity so uh, essentially what we are seeing here is that you get a lot of fluctuations in signal strength and in packet error rate as well and uh, you have to uh, develop protocols to deal with this kind of variation which is potentially not been seen before in wireless LAN systems.